What's up, ladies? You now tuned in to the love doctor himself. Major love. Shotty, I know you wanna talk, but I ain't no first base nigga. I hit it out the park. I ain't rushing, I just rather keep it rough from the start. No reason for me to keep my intentions in the dark. Say I can listen, but just know I can talk too. We can hit the couch, the car, or take a walk too. I be your therapist, I put you in just the right mood. I ain't no pimp, I just happen to have some player mood. The way I rock, the way I dress, I know she like it for sure. I keep it fly like I'm a pilot, but I'm driving the boat. This a private practice, everything done. Yo, what it is, what it ain't, it's the hottest hot boy you know, even when it's cold outside. Major love with three E's, that's three chances for sure to get with me. It's episode 60, and I got Kiana J in the motherfucking building, you know what I'm saying? Yes, love. How you feeling? Feeling great, feeling good. Nah, uh, ain't tired of shit, we about to get the vibe right, y'all see. We got the, the Halloween spirit going on, this episode three, we got one more episode like this, then we switching this shit up again. But... We here. I'm um. I'm gonna just let y'all know. I've been watching Keanu J on Instagram. You're hilarious. Thank you. Ben. Thank you. My dog Munchie. Shout yeah, out to that's Munchie. My dude. Yeah. She was <laughs> like, she was like, you gotta get Keanu J on the. Mm-hmm. I'm like, facts. That'd be hard. <laughs> she like, that's my dog. I'm about to hit up. I'm like, you making moves like that? Uh, and hey, shout out Munchie. She put that shit together. Now we about hey, to get right. Yes, yeah, she did. Shout but I definitely Mon- been watching. You shout for out to Munchie. Been watching you. you turning up, you know what I'm saying? You really hilarious. I think the most recent one that I seen that I thought was fucking hilarious was the um walking down the street with the music and like what you be thinking it, like what yes. you be doing that, but what you really be Man. doing it. Yes. That's yes. real facts. For like, real. Especially like nigga like me, I be listening to music at work. I be wanting to go crazy. <laughs> but I, I real can't. talk. Customers real get to talk. looking at just stupid real and shit. Talk. That's when you listen to your favorite song. Uh-huh. Well, rap that bitch out loud For and real? shit. <laughs> All right, so boom, tell the people what it is, what you do. I'm about to hook us up some drinks. Um, my name is Kiana G. I do comedy, I rap, and I just do me. You know, um, I don't, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> That's what you do, for. Yeah, I do, I do me. I got that Hennessy fuzz. We on a hen dog. And I do makeup. You a, you a go getter? Yeah, get that yeah money. I'm a go getter. I do makeup. I do makeup. That's what, that's what, so. Like, if y'all need y'all makeup done, hit Kiana J up. Slide, slide at me. You know what I'm saying. And get right. Homecoming coming it? up and shit. You y'all see it? Get with yeah. it. Yeah. Get with it. I get lost. You popping out to any homecomings? Homecoming for who? High school? school? No. I'm talking about college. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, no, nah, I'm really not talking about high <laughs> school. Think I am. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, uh, no, I don't really be knowing too much about that type of stuff. I just be really in my own bubble, like type shit. Literally, <laughs> I really just be in my own little world. I mean, that makes sense. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Real talk. Oh, like, my boyfriend. I'm always, you know. Shout weird. out to him. You know what I'm saying? Not he in the building too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you drink too? Yeah. You want your little drink? He said what? He said for sure. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like when the crowd get right with me. You feel? Uh, I got your glass right there. This my glass, and that's his cup. Yeah, but we rolling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't stop, I keep going. Don't let nobody come stop your mission. Don't stop, I keep going. I swear nobody gonna tell you different. So boom, I'm back. I know I can't stay behind the bar. Mm-hmm. I ain't a bartender. But we're going to toast to episode 60 to Kiana J, to Major Love, to Drink with Major Love, to just yes, greatness Lord. and success. Yes, Lord. And I just had to spend $60 on a damn pop lock. Ain't that some shit? She was tweaking to get her. You Golly. Know I mean? <laughs> tweaking to get her. She didn't lock the key. Episode the 60. $60. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. But Real talk. All right, come on. We got we gonna toast to that. All right, we making that shit back though. Yes, making that shit back ASAP. You hear me? <laughs> like clockwork. Hmm. Oh yeah, that right. Mm-hmm. All right, so boom. Tell me where it started, man. Like, were you always just funny? Did you like? Just... I was always funny. Mm-hmm. Like when I was in 
fourth grade, I, I, I had this teacher. She grade. always told me. She said, you, she said, La girl, you is so funny. She said, you're going to grow up and you're going to be the next Monique. She said, you are going to be a comedian. She told me that in fourth grade. I remember that. I, I remember that. So it was just natural? Like you just was it doing was shit? It was natural. Always natural. Because I know some people, My they- My whole family funny. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know that type of family. Yes. Like, if you come around each other, y'all just joke The whole out. family funny. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so that mean like, was it like a passion? Well, like when she said that, did you mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm going to do it? Yeah. Because uh, I, cause I ain't going to lie. I know some people that do like the funny videos mm -hmm. and it's not that they ain't funny mm -hmm. like in real life they not they funny but that wasn't what they were trying to do yeah sometimes they just start creating shit. yeah and it just come out yeah. naturally and they just start doing it yeah. just because it came to them yeah so i was yeah. just trying to see like which lane which way you was going with it yeah. so that makes sense that makes sense mm -hmm. so what made you decide to post your first reel and just go with it well that's a bold move for yeah. anybody me and um well when i was in high school we used to do you know vine used to be out we used to do vines and stuff like that like i went viral on vine in high school i didn't even know i went viral because oh, yeah. i didn't know how to work vine we you were just were playing OG. around you were OG yes. on vine. I ain't <laughs> we was on vine we just playing around on vine and i just me and my friends we went viral on um vine with the video and, um, it was you know look at lolly when she was like she's gonna step on my mm -hmm. toe we was acting it out like i had my first stuff on the girl uh, so you know it's disgusting yeah <laughs> I it was that, like man. that and um it went that went viral and um i had a couple other viral videos and i mean once i really went viral with the um with the smoking video mm -hmm. and i got fired for it i mean i just say i might well just pick up comedy and i just went from there and i just started doing my videos so why they fought like they told you why they fired you? Like what? The, like you know what I'm saying? Like what about it that made them feel like they had to fire you? They felt like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> them people was telling me <laughs> I was making videos and them people. Um, I was making videos in the store. If mm -hmm. you you can go down, you can scroll on my page. I didn't have videos in them people uniform. I didn't went viral eating the crawfish. Mm -hmm. Some people know me as the crawfish girl, the blowing old girl. People know me as all type of stuff, you know, but I was in their uniform. Yeah. And one of my managers told me, she said, look, you can make your videos, but just don't have a sign in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I went viral with that video. I didn't know it was going to go viral. You know, yeah, I you really, think it's just like, man, just a quick one. when I tell you, I went viral overnight. Like it blew up overnight. I'm like, I was everywhere. I had millions of views. That video still go viral to this day. That's like crazy. Literally, that was way in 2019. And she told she warned you. Yeah. She, she did warn you. <laughs> she she you warned me in that video. I, like, <laughs> like, I called first. I'm like, wait. I'm like, because they was telling me the whole story. Everybody called me like, man, look, you might want not come in. Everybody. <laughs> so I called the office. I'm like, should I come in or not? Because I ain't got no gas, you know? Yeah, That's don't make, don't make me wait. You want to lick gas? Like that. Man, if people told me. <laughs> Oh no, you're good. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they be bullshit. They be bullshit. As soon as I walked in, now about a clock in, nigga said, "Uh uh, pull up. We need to see you in the office." <laughs> and that's when they fired me. They gave my paperwork. They fired me. And walking in the office, like walking in the office, looking at you like, "I told you, <laughs> I told you not." To go to <laughs> he said, "I told you to chill out." But see, at least. At least they ain't, <laughs> they ain't make you work a whole shift. Mm -hmm. the, oh. I, I got fired. I was working eight to five. It was like, I think it was like 4 10. They called me in the office. I'm like, damn, you could have fired Man. me at eight o'clock. <laughs> I didn't bust my ass at work. I shit. didn't got fired after that, too. Boy, I wanted to go back in that store and knock everything. I wanted to, that's what I said. I wanted to go just ruin everything Man. I did. Like, like, how I the feel fuck like you that's so fucked Let up. me straighten up the whole goddamn real store. Real talk, real talk. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That's evil, fuck. Y'all stores is fucking ruthless. Real talk. They really is. That's why I ain't about to be working for them bitches all my life. Yeah, What's I ain't done with it. I ain't, I ain't got time for it. What? So, um, I know at a certain point, Instagram started paying people for the reels. Mm -hmm. Like, at first you had to get monetized and stuff like that, but then they started just letting people get act. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah. So, when I was on that shit, mm -hmm. I couldn't get, like, I was making money. But that shit was harder than it looked. So, you asking me, did I ever get paid? Or no, like what? Like how hard was it for you to get to a certain number? So I don't know how I got um my nails is broke. I mean, I I just noticed. But <laughs> ain't nobody even I know noticed. Gonna, you pointed it out. People gonna notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. People is gonna notice. 
<laughs> but no. <laughs> but um, so basically, I used to get paid from Instagram. Mm-hmm. But um, and I forgot how I got paid. All I remember was one time they told me you eligible. So I just put my card on there, you know, and like, okay, they started really paying me. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm I started making reels. I got a report. It's now they gonna look for any reason not to monetize you. Mm-hmm. So it was something so simple that I posted and they told me I'm not eligible. So I can't even get paid from Instagram no more. But I can get paid from other sites. That's but I can't up. get paid from Instagram. That's tough. up. I ain't knew that. Yeah. Got you gotta watch what you do, watch what you say. When I got on that page, I'm like I think the first time it was like the highest amount I can make was like twelve hundred. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to run it up. Mm-hmm. I'm about to just I was making like four hundred yeah. a month. Like I was paying my car note. I'm making, I'm dropping like three reels a day on oh, Instagram. What? I'm trying to come up with anything to do. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my... that's that's why I kind of fell off. And like once Instagram stopped paying me, like I kind of lost my. You know, it was like I had a you had reason. A motivation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm now. I feel like I'm just. Even though you're supposed to put your talents out there, you're supposed to put your push yourself, expose yourself to more exposure, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's like, fuck, I'm on, you I'm know, on I bread. want, yeah, you know, I want something for that. But I yeah. still, I'm still keep going, still keep going. Yeah, when uh, when they stopped, they had a moment when they stopped too, mm-hmm. like everybody. Once they did that, I stopped paying. I mean, I stopped making reels like that either. I Damn, still do what it. This was. Damn, when this was? Cause I try to appeal my shit. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't too long ago. It probably was like a year ago. Oh, okay. okay. But I think now it's back, but it's just mm-hmm. not as easy. Yeah. At first, anybody. Or, yeah. At first, you had to be monetized. Then they switched it to where anybody could do it. Mm. Then they stopped it completely. Now they even brought it back to where you could do it, but you gotta actually. They gotta see some um, traction yeah. going to your page, and you gotta have a certain amount of. Followers or yeah. something, yeah. It's really about the views. Like you don't really gotta have a followers. If you, oh, okay. If you posting and your shit touching ten k views yeah, every that's time, true. they fucking that's, with you. Yeah, that's true. That's Cause true. and they be looking at it as he already or he or she already making this traction. Mm-hmm. I need to help them. Yeah. Okay. Now you know I who's smart. YouTube's fucking smart. Yeah. They got I'm a, trying to get on YouTube. Me too. <laughs> I'm trying to get that money. <laughs> right. yeah, YouTube, bro. Boy, what? Different. You uh, see, Funny Mike came up off YouTube, boy. What? Money, Funny Mike is living a luxurious yeah, rapper life off YouTube. off YouTube and fucking kids. And look at Kai Sinet off streaming. Bro, that shit crazy. And it, and people, like older people. We gonna people, have this conversation on here. Oh, yeah. We, Basically, you doing the same thing. I'm making done. content. We all doing the same thing. So, but you know what I hate? It's like older people they don't get it. Yeah, because they because that back in they they that shit wasn't awesome. Yeah, that's true. So like, they don't really gotta... know that this is what could help us make money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This um, is what could help us. My mom be like, "You always recording some shit." I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so yeah, you listen. don't know what could go wrong. Like, listen, I'm trying to get that back. What? <laughs> like she like you need to get a job because you know all they know is get a job go to go to school or sell Man, drugs these days ain't like that no more people tired of working for these people you can sit right here in your house and make a million dollars you just gotta cold. be consistent yep that's it that's, that's really it. i think that's the, the key goal consistency yep that is it really is like when i was being consistent that's when i grew more mm-hmm. like you know what i'm saying i kind of you know everybody have life be life in you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. life happens to everyone like a mother you know what i'm saying <laughs> so it's like you just got everybody just got to pick it back up and just go straight back into it you know and that's that's why i'm here like, i ain't gonna lie we need more man mm. y'all get in the comments and tell keanu j we need more <laughs> you know what i'm saying I just, everybody be telling me that i just seen the one with you and corey with the k mm. uh with uh ti son oh yeah man, everybody that shit was <laughs> fucking hilarious and you know what's crazy i didn't even see the video with mm. ti son until i seen yeah. that then i'm like man fuck no <laughs> it was the smile was it was the i told him i said man we about to go so viral off this. man that bitch was hilarious soon as I seen him, i'm like we about to go so viral oh my god it was so funny and it was <laughs> so on point yes it was, it was. So on point. <laughs> i'm talking about the smile and yeah. everything like that bitch was right that wasn't i'm trying i got i'm about to i locked in with corey with the kid about to get him on here go hey, crazy hey you gotta get my dog on here i just did another skit with him yesterday two days ago yeah, he he definitely hilarious. Mm-hmm. In person, and everything that boy funny, <laughs> naturally. So, what would you feel like your funniest moment is? Um, like out of all the videos you did, 
What's your what you feel like is funny? Out of the videos, yeah, or like anything. Um, out the videos, I'm gonna say was it was either when I did the Fat Albert impersonation, what a dude, um, much mouth, or um, I don't seen that one. I got the Friday one when we ran ran first. You know when we redid the Friday and I wrote the script. Like I wrote I wrote the script to where it was like uh I was Kibo. It was like oh, I was bullying them for their snacks. Okay. Yeah. You okay. know how Debo yeah, roll yeah, up yeah, on yeah. you? They get to hide their snacks instead of hiding their chain, you know. Oh so I gotta go like, see them. Yeah, I ain't you gotta never go seen see them. Them went viral too. Mm-hmm. Don't trip. I'm gonna put them bitches in the video so y'all can see them too. <laughs> that sounds funny. Yeah. Okay, okay. And and I ain't gonna lie, the like like you said, the Friday Debo, he was coming get all their money and they jury. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's mm-hmm. hard. And then that give you a whole nother talent. Like you, like we was talking about, you say you about the uh do the reality show. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother talent that you just basically Come show on, that huh? you got. Look, you done rewrote a whole nother nigga, a whole Look. classic movie into and it. rewrote it, and that bitch went viral <laughs> on TikTok and Instagram. Hey, listen, whatever y'all do, don't stop. Yup, keep going. Trust God, put God first mm-hmm. before anything. And he gonna make sure he so, has it for you. With the rap, how serious you take the rap? I take rap. I take it serious, but it's like I gotta get back like to writing. Like if I if I draw back from writing, I'm not gonna do it for a minute. Mm-hmm. But like once I get in it, because I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. Like it got us. It got I might not be the best rapper, but I feel like I got them balls. You know what I'm saying? A lot do. of people say I got the balls. So it's like I gotta make sure like it sound right. I can't just get on the track and say no anything. You know what I'm saying? Like some people could get on the track and say anything and make a hit because that's what's popping that nowadays. Shit don't last you know what I'm saying? It don't. That shit like, don't last long at all. So I'm just I, I write music. I got music in vaults. Like I got music that I'm about to drop. I got a video shoot that I'm about to do. So it's like I'm still in with the music, but it's a slow, yeah, a so slow, slow process with the music. I gotcha. could do, do comedy on, you know, on demand, but not, yeah. So the comedy is natural, but the music is the passion, yeah, type shit, yeah. And I ask because I rap too, so I, yeah. Oh, okay, that's, how, okay. that's how me and Munchie. Oh yeah, you that. do. I seen your videos. Yeah, yeah you do. So okay. I was just asking just to see which one was your. Your, you know the lane that you fuck mm-hmm. with the most and i can tell like that's the passion mm-hmm. and i also heard i seen the freestyle comedy is acting and comedy is my passion okay yeah okay but rap is my passion too it's like i'm a jack of anything that's gonna help me when god gave me all them talents for a reason for a, so everything for is my reason. passion yeah that's valid and see Real i know you tap in because you got to be tapped in to understand that yeah you really do like shit, no nothing happened for no you really, reason bro all. like i know god that's why i'm saying i gotta get it it's mm-hmm. meant for me like he meant for me to be rich because he gave me too much talent you know what i'm saying like yeah. why i'm wasting it like that's how i feel so why are you wasting it i don't i don't waste my it's like i'm wasting it because i'm not wasting it but it's like I just gotta get back. Yeah, that's what I wanna say. You're not wasting it. I gotta get but I, you ain't going full throttle. You ain't yes, got your foot all the way on that motherfucker. That, that, that. Like that I was. Is. Like I I was dropping skits and stuff like that. But like I said, the monitor station, all that took place and just the lack of a lot of things, you know. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you this as motivation to you. Mm-hmm. A lot of people they just be like, I just be talking to people, I'm like, oh, oh I got a podcast coming up but everybody know i drop every week mm-hmm. so they be like who the guest next week mm-hmm. so i'm telling people i'm like oh kiana jenny like what you know, kiana <laughs> i'm talking about no y'all work better with. watch this too yeah so, <laughs> so i'm just letting you know they got people that's watching this, that's fucking with Thanks. you so get to appreciate them. it thanks i am i got to because people stop me in person they be like man where you i ain't been seeing you on my time you know where you been at and i be like man i'm i'm coming though mm-hmm. they don't even know like when i come back i come back like I don't just come back on those. He'd be like, yeah, yeah I'm still here, but I'm coming here man, like stop look, playing. They're gonna be like, damn, this where you up? <laughs> real talk. That's how you gotta come back on them. You, you gotta do. Like, you gotta. You gotta put that bitch in their face hard. They, they like, wouldn't okay, even ready. Okay. They you, you, got ready uh, you got justifiable. Uh, you got a justifiable coming. <laughs> uh, so how you feel about like the the fame? Because I know me as I get bigger, a lot of people start noticing me when I mm. go out, and I just be like. Fuck is that? Yeah. And my partners be like, nigga, you know who you is? I'm like, I'm nobody, in it's, my opinion. I'll be forgetting. 
Yeah. Until somebody come up to me, they be speaking. I'll be like, oh, you was talking to me? I'll be like, oh, Lord, I forgot I'm Keanu J. <laughs> like, for real? I'll be like, well, that's because oh, a nigga okay. don't. That's because a nigga's so used to being regular mm-hmm. and trying to get there and just doing regular life yeah. shit. Like I don't look at my. I'm not. I'm not cocky. Like mm-hmm. I know who I am, but it's like I'm the. Reg, I'm. I work a regular job. Yeah. I, I pay rent. I pay bills. Yeah. I do everything the regular trying person. To, do. Trying to go to the regular, you know, Real talk. chicken fish like everybody. Come on, else. Like, I'm just trying to chill Come like everybody. Now, right? Look, you might see me in Dollar Tree family. That, that's regular shit. Yeah, you I know, need, what I'm need some tissue paper, Real? man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you though. I feel you though. Cause, Cause I, I definitely run into people in the might places. be making groceries in Dollar Tree. Really? <laughs> Listen, I know I make groceries in Dollar. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that shit oh, high man. one morning, Ross. That shit high as a motherfucker. Bro, I'm gonna put y'all on game. Take that ride to Oldies. You yes. live in Metairie. Yes, I know take that Aldi. ride to Oldies, look, man. You gonna save look, a lot of it money. It wasn't even me. My girl put me on. Aldi. Man, she um, was like, we well, when we was going. The only Aldi was in in Slidell. And, um, and I'm like, she like, you want to ride me to go make groceries? Go. I'm like, where the fuck we going? <laughs> we going way to Man, And we're going to West Bank around this time. So I'm like, it. I got in that bitch. I'm like, okay. It's worth it. It don't have everything, it but don't. what you, the like food and shit yeah, you need, it, it got it for yeah. the low. Look, you got to go to Walmart on the side. Uh, get, the, get, the, get the real good yeah. shit. <laughs> real I ain't going to lie to you. The only thing I don't like is that fucking quarter in the basket. They be dealing with me so hard. They be hard up. They be so hard. And they want the quarterback, man. I want my quarterback. For real. I just seen some person. That's a quarter for the basket? I just seen one person push it in there. And they like, you have your quarter? I don't want it. I'm like, man, get my quarter. (laughs) What? When the fuck basket you had to cut? What? I I used to pull a number just grabbing the basket. Bro, like. That bitch is not for broke people. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie though, it's yeah. smart because you ain't gotta worry about paying an extra baggy person. Yeah, that's I mean, baggy person. But the thing is, shit. the reason, the, another thing, you gotta pay for the baskets and the motherfucking and bags. bags. And the bags. And the bags. Damn. That bitch bougie as hell. Yeah, they bougie, but it ain't, I ain't gonna lie, it's worth it. <laughs> and they fruit be fresh yes. and shit like. <laughs> yes, all this stuff be reasonable. No cap. I definitely know why <laughs> they're They gotta sponsor us. I feel at this point, we just gave him a whole Real promotion. Talk. Like, give me a free grocery. We just gave y'all a whole commercial. Real so, boy, what? Nah, ain't no count posting it. I'm tagging all these. Hmm. Tagging them. Got two. But they definitely got one out here now. They got one in on the and West they Bank. They making one in Carrollton. They making the um the one Dixie and Carrollton. They about to make that oldies. Damn, they taking over right quick. They don't put one in the city. Slide it out. Oh, they got one, one in the West city. Bank, and they got one in Metairie. What they got one in BR? Yeah, they they getting up though. They getting it. I'm I ain't you. mad at it. Me, mm-hmm. I'm definitely not. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Now I remember I, I, my first time using the torch. I lit that bitch like this. <laughs> <laughs> Burn the fuck Boy. out your hand. <laughs> Boy, Burn the shit out your hand. No. Like, but nah, so dumb shit. so like the podcast is called Drinking with Major Love, right? I just did that. <laughs> he did it. Like you you gonna see that shit on <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah, my man, what you saying? But nah, like it's called drink on major love. So mm-hmm. I like to make it a real experience. Like I want you to really experience drinking with me mm-hmm. without having to worry about. You know, how you go out to a bar, so you want to drink, but you like, I don't want to pay this much. Yeah, and then keep paying it full time. I want you to experience to drink how much you want. Okay, and like I don't want it to seem like an interview. I want it to be like a conversation. Yeah, like we chilling. We are yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I try to tell everybody you can smoke on this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You can drink on this motherfucker. If you got guests with you, they can jump on this bitch and say something <laughs> too. Like, however, I just want that bit to be a real vibe. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Hmm. I just finished my cup. You ain't touched nothing. That's how I know I'm you. I'm God damn. Yeah, that bitch gone. I do, I do this every week. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I do trying. Every week. I'm, I'm trying. Look, look. Yo, he boy. ain't bullshit. He definitely, he just a goggle. He, <laughs> he goggle Hennessy. Like, man, that's the best shit on the market, man. Up, that's that the best shit, shit on the market. That's why I don't fuck with Hennessy. Hennessy had me, I ain't remember, I, I still don't remember what happened for my birthday. I mean, I it's, even, it's your it birthday, people, though. It was people that was saying they was at my party. 
They said, girl, I ain't funny. I just said, you was at my party? <laughs> they said, yeah, I was talking to you. I said, you was? I, I, I said, bro, I can't do it no more. Hennessy, just, I was drinking out of the box. Oh, that's why oh. you going straight. Man, I ain't know who them people was. See, me, I like Hennessy, <laughs> and I'm a real drinker, but you know what I'm saying? I like to be bougie with it. I got like to mix my shit, stretch it a little bit, do it on some cool shit. When you drink that shit straight, that's some real gangster shit, and then you might not, just uh-huh. like, you might not remember that. Hmm. Um, but with the Henny, I've been on Henny. I think when I first started drinking, that's the first thing I had. No, I'm lying, I'm lying. First thing I had was Ciroc. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't started drinking till I got to college. I had that fucking Ciroc. I, I ain't lying, that's what I started off with. It's Ciroc? That shit took my, my stomach My first drink was a, was a daiquiri. My mama let me have a daiquiri on the water bus. All my friends were drinking out that one daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> and we was all fucked up off that one daiquiri. <laughs> we had a lot. Who? They thought y'all was fucked up. Y'all probably was cause y'all were I, like, I think we, what? That was our first, we was? was 18. We, we was like, I had just made 18. I had a party bus. We and that was, had, that was first my time? first time ever drinking. It, yeah, might have been. All of us, we was really tore yeah. up. Like we really was. <laughs> nah, see, I'm from Baton Rouge, so like that. I knew you had an ex. I'm like, yeah, I'm from Baton Rouge. Okay. And that boy said criminals. I knew he was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm really huh? Bro, I was that. That. I said that kind of thing. <laughs> Well, I had to think about what he was talking about. I forgot right. he said decoration. Okay, he said Christmas. Right. <laughs> yeah, you good. You get, you get right. This boy. <laughs> man, listen, that was his fuck. That was his death man. <laughs> that boy said trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in Baton Rouge, like, Dagger is not that big. They, they kind of big now, but when I was there, <clears throat> Dagger wasn't that big now. Oh, okay. Dagger wasn't that that. So mm-hmm. I ain't never think nothing about it. We was on we was on pills and, and lean and shit. Oh, okay. Oh. When I got to college. You was on pills and lean too? Oh Lord, y'all was wild in the day. But that's what them be yeah. You ever ran across NBA Young Boy? Yeah. So you I seen... actually went to school with 3-3. Three, three. His, his cousin, I mean his, his cousin and his manager. The light skin I, with the tattoos. I think I know I yeah. heard of him. I went to school with him. Okay, okay, so okay. I've seen Young Boy before, but this was before he was Young Boy. This was mm-hmm. he, was he was just a badass Kentrell. Kentrell running, oh, yeah, <laughs> running around the hood and shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was rapping, but I don't think nobody, well, knew, you. nobody knew that was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. But That's what came up. Yeah, we was on pills and lean and be all like, okay. they, like niggas was on weed, but I wasn't. Mm-hmm. The people I was around wasn't on that. So mm-hmm. when I got to college, niggas like, oh yeah, we got this blunt. I'm like, then my partner put it up. With a big ass bottle, I'm like, boy, what? The only person I ever seen with that is my uncle, and that nigga Damn. be tripping every every Thanksgiving. I, I didn't like my <laughs> I had uncles and my older brothers and shit was on that, but that's mm-hmm. like that's like that shit when your mama like stay out of grown folks business mm-hmm. type shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, that's for my uncles. I don't fuck with that. Yeah. So when they pull it up to me, like, oh yeah, we got a bottle of Ciroc, big like, stupid bottle. I'm like, well, I'm not drinking that. Damn. <laughs> I finally had some. And I was fucked up. You was drinking lean. I was like, uh, yeah, I, had, I said, fuck, that's better than lean. Once mm-hmm. I realized, I ain't understand the difference. Yeah, when you young, you just yeah, be I ain't going, understand. You don't be knowing. And then I think I finally had some henny, and I kept trying to figure out why I be throwing. I be so lit mm-hmm. and throwing up. I thought it was because I'm drinking, not eating. Mm-hmm. I start eating. Then I'm, you know, I'm from Baton Rouge, so I'm jigging. I'm thinking maybe I'm drinking and jigging, shaking that yeah. shit up. <laughs> Realize it's that white. I can't do that white. Yeah, liquor. yeah. Then I'm drinking Ciroc and Boy. Amsterdam and Everclear. That mm-hmm. shit tearing my stomach up. Mm-hmm. I drink that Henny. Boy, shit be smooth. Shit be good. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I, it's like when I drink Hennessy, it's like it take a minute. Like I don't feel Hennessy. Like you could taste it, but like I don't feel it on yeah. soon as I drink that bitch. Like I gotta it's like take that a bitch couple. creep up on. Yeah, me. like it just creep up. That bitch creep up on you for real. A little extra shot of it. But um, my thing really, really with the uh, the henny, mm. I ain't like that throwing up shit. For real talk. That I don't like thing, throwing up though. either. Like, I don't like that. that shit feel like you about to throw all your guts out. Yeah, like, and then like when you and can... then once you to throw up everything that's in there and it's still trying to come up, it's like that bitch hurt. <laughs> You be throwing up yellows in yeah. like <laughs> Not like we hey, going to the toe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Trash can looking at you like, bitch, you got something else or not. Like, 
Fuck. You say nothing else coming out. You be hoping something come out that way. Oh God. Like yeah, that's what that was my thing. And then I used to do it in front of female. Like, I'm talking to a female and I'm like, so then I'm like, boy, I'm not fucking you with can't that. Even buy. I can't even get rice. Huh? No. For real. And like my, my main goal every time I got drunk, I need some pussy at the end of the night. <laughs> if I'm too fucked up throwing up, ain't no pussy. Right. We right. gotta figure out how to balance this shit <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Real talk. I yeah. can't get right. Oh, this for you. <laughs> so, yeah, what, what's your long term goal? Oh, what, my whatever. long term goal is to be wealthy, like married, that. with kids, a family, and I want to be. I want to be a Emmy Award winning actress. Like I want to be an actress. You will I will be yeah, an Emmy? Award. I will be an Emmy Award winning actress. I will be one of your favorite lyrical rappers. I will be your favorite comedian. I'll just be your favorite person. I'm talking about, I was about to say. I'm just going to be your favorite. Person. Like Whatever the fuck you feel like doing that day, whether it's comedy. The industry music. ain't ready for me because I could do it all. I'm going to be real with you. I don't feel like the industry is ready for nobody in Louisiana. And I'm just trying to see, like, I be trying to put opportunities out there to get people. Because I had posted, I was like, if any, like, if, like, I want to build a production team, like, people that's from mm-hmm. New Orleans that's trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, some people say, I'm not trying to do nothing for free. Yeah. Nothing is free. That's not how the you game know what I'm saying? It's not how it go. But we can negotiate something to where well, you know that this is a five years idea that we both going to come up that when this shit blow up. Yeah. We gonna get that bread. Like you gonna get your. You gonna be like it was worth it. Yeah, you gotta understand. You gotta invest. You gotta see. It's like vision, investing man. your time into this because you like okay. I'm not doing it for free for free. It's a negotiated price, but we just gonna see where this shit go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I the, didn't do did shit price, for people. The price really ain't even like the thing. It's just like. At the end of the day, niggas got to live. Yeah, Niggas got shit they got to do. Real live. shit. And I don't expect nobody to come out their way, um, spend their day mm. vlogging some shit, using their shit up, editing mm. for free. Yeah. No, I don't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But we could negotiate something to where it's a, because it's a lot of things you got to pay for in a reality yeah. TV show. You know what I'm saying? And I'm starting this shit by myself from the ground up because I'm just going to start. Yeah. Like, you see how you doing it? Like, I just want to start. Like, I don't care how much... I'm gonna pay it at yeah. the end of the day because I know what this shit gonna. That's the investment for me. Yep. I invested in my breathing video. You know, like if you seen that, that went viral. Carlos yep. Miller commented mm-hmm. on that. They had celebrities came follow me from that video. Like, yeah, because I invested in. I knew what it was gonna do. Yeah, and I brought and, all them big girls together. And that's really what it be though. You gotta have the vision. You gotta see the vision, and everybody yep. that's a part of it gotta understand yes. the vision. Yes, they do. They do. When, you gotta have a team. That's just like, and that's like with anything. Not even just like with content creating. If you want to go to be a doctor, mm-hmm. you gotta understand the vision. Is yes. I gotta go through college. I yes. gotta graduate. Yes. I gotta it's do gonna be program. hard, but yeah, I'm gonna get to it. You, you know, gotta see like, the vision. If you don't see the vision, that shit ain't gonna never, real never, shit. never work. Real shit. So I do got one more question before we go to the game. Mm-hmm. Um, NL Chopper, that song. Was he really talking about? I don't you? know. Cause that was so. It was crazy. Bro, I said the same thing. <laughs> it's like, bro, I'm like, I don't know if he's talking about me or somebody else, but. It ain't too many Keanu J's. That's what that's, I said. That was very. That's what I said. But look, I'm going to just be honest with y'all on it because <laughs> I did my research. Uh-huh. The girl that, if you look at the video, the girl that he have in the video, mm-hmm. her name is Keanu J. Cause, and I know this because my name is Keanu J. So anybody, I know yeah. the other Kiana J's. Anybody that they, else like you know, that, you the know. other popular Kiana yeah. J's that they have out here at least. So she's a video vixen. She's a model. But I still don't even think he was talking about her because you say my dog bitch something something to Kiana. It's like he he wasn't talking about me, but it's like he was insinuating me like yeah. you know what i'm saying like in some type of way he like, might not be talking specifically about you but he describing you yeah that's why i said and it it's was like so, he it know, was so right and the dude that i shot that video with is from memphis and nle chopper is from memphis mm-hmm. and like he that video is on youtube that video is everywhere so it's like what's the eyes that he's seen this video because your boy from memphis like yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I do feel like he was talking about me at the end of the day. And it was it was genius of you to make that video. I just want to say that. That was fucking genius. Hmm. Because that you could have been in the house just like texting people, telling people, or calling like, yeah. he was talking about me, he was talking yeah. about me. Post on the store, but you yeah. like, nah, fuck that. I'm about, oh, to, show, yeah. I'm about to show y'all. Like, I need him to see. Well, I heard I'm about to you. Capitalize on yeah. Boy, what? You got you to gotta be that bold and you got to go I hope he do shit. text me one day and be like, man, yeah, I wasn't talking about you, but shit, if you could do something with me. And look, nigga like him, be tapped in. That's why mm-hmm. I felt like it was it was him. It was you. Me too. Because I got a partner that's from Thibodeau, but mm-hmm. he live in Houston. Mm-hmm. He made a jacket, mm-hmm. like a jacket with a bunch of uh, what they call the soda can tops on the on mm-hmm. there. And I know what you're And he gave it. Well, he gave it to somebody who knew NLE, and NLE mm-hmm. put it on. What? He put it on. I'm talking about did a whole photo shooting and everything. Dang. And then everybody that know my pond did mm-hmm. in his comments like, "That's all slept on shit. That Dang. slept on." He tagged him. He went back, edited that bitch, and tagged the brand. Lord. So I'm like, I'm like, I know he be tuned in. He do. He be he do. tuned in. And he so, young. He's around my age. Yeah. Like, well, how are you? I'm 25. He's younger than you. Yeah, I know. He's he like younger 20, than you. 21. 21 or 22 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he like 21 or something like that. Because <coughs> when he blew up, he was 6, 17 yeah. or something like that. Okay. So, and he was on his little healing journey and all that. Yeah. I remember that. I don't know what happened with that, but. <laughs> that was that was I love that song though. Yeah. D-A-M-D, they let me be a. I ain't gonna lie, that. it definitely was on point, man. Shout out to NLE. Yeah, shout out to NLE. It's gonna all come full circle at the whole brick. Yep. You're gonna run it to him, you're gonna bring it up, Listen, and he's gonna either tell about. you, I know you already, or I seen it, or you're gonna be like, nah, you was talking about me. Bro, they had somebody DM me and was like, um, I'm here to DM, I'm DMing you because NLE Chopper told me to tell you to meet him. At the <laughs> I'm like, Lord, that's crazy. That's you should have screenshot that. I did. Send that bit to <laughs> I, I, I ain't sent it to him, but I posted it. I DM'd them and shit, but. I ain't gonna lie. I don't I don't be ashamed to DM. Me either, boy. Cause they, gonna, never... they gonna see that Man, shit. Man, I didn't DM the celebrity and they really DM me back and they're going to be the judge. When I announce it, it's a New Orleans. It's a, he's not a New Orleans celebrity. He's a mm-hmm. celebrity. Yeah. But he's from New Orleans. Yeah. You know, he live in New Orleans. I'm gonna announce it, you know. Yeah. When yeah, I. Good. Don't get it to him yet. Don't yeah. get it to him yet. You know what I'm saying? Well, like like you said, I don't the industry, they ain't ready for Louisiana because even it wasn't ready for Young Boy. They damn sure wasn't ready for Wayne. Bro. Then Master P sub tweet. Kevin Gay sub tweet and tease is fucking rocking the, Bro. the TikTok world right now with that trip out shit. Man, um Rob Kevin, 49. Yeah. Babe, you know, you know Rob Kazi, he going up. It's everybody, like, all of New Orleans, because they own New Orleans right now. So why life. not? Team up, come together and do. And I feel like it's, I feel like it's that time because you remember Chicago had their moment, mm-hmm. Memphis had their moment, yep. Um, Florida had their moment, yep. New York had their moment, yep. Atlanta had their moment. Atlanta had Atlanta ain't never stopped having right. moment. They've been running for New Orleans too on some stuff, but it's like we be. They only had a few. It was like a, they had like a few, mm-hmm. and it was like separated. Yeah. And everybody else was like back to back. So, mm-hmm. but I think it's it's coming. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's inevitable that New Orleans gotta have a moment because there's too many people that's homegrown here. Too many, too many talents. Like too much talent and it, and in New in, Orleans. And it's in so many different areas. Man. Like you got Rod 49 teasing subtweet with, with the, the dance with the dances and stuff. Yeah. Then you you Rob Kazi, Corey mm-hmm. with the kid, they coming with the comedian. Yep. Then yep. you got you got movie star. You see 50 Cent just opened a fucking movie studio in New Orleans. Shreveport. No, he got one in New Orleans. It's not as big as that one, but he got one that he built. What? Yes. 50 Cent is building a, a like a, a movie type studio. I'm, I'm going to show you. The... Then I just told you I'm going to be an Emmy Award winner actress. Full circle. I swear I I'm just going. sent that bitch. I just sent it to somebody. For real. <laughs> Look, 50 Cent is opening up a new movie studio in Louisiana. Mm. But in the, in the thing, it was like in New Orleans. Mm. He got like a it might it might be connected some type of way. Yeah, but. I believe it because New Orleans is what a real t- like all the other cities in like BR and stuff like that. But New Orleans, I ain't gonna lie, like yeah, New Orleans we, definitely like, like uh, the blueprint. Man, but the bounce music, the food, the 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 festivals, like New Orleans, really where it's at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, and and no offense to no other cities, uh-huh. New Orleans definitely got that shit on lock. Be all sure. it would be right after, but it's Real a different talk. lane. It's a different lane. But I feel like because you don't know no other 
you know other cities in New Orleans and Louisiana, but like the main two is yeah. New Orleans and BR. But if you really think about it, the other the other ones they feed off of those two. Mm. Like Lafayette, yeah. Lafayette feed mm-hmm. off of BR. Shreveport and Monroe feed off New Orleans a little bit. Mm-hmm. Lake Charles feed off BR. Like mm-hmm. it, it's all Rosetta, but BR feed off New Orleans. Yeah, so that's it, true. It's, you know that's what I'm saying? True. It's like a, it's like a, that's a tree. True. That's true. But at the end of the day, Louisiana winning, the South yep. winning. We all still in Louisiana. Black folks winning. Yep. Y'all get with it, man. Gotta keep winning. We about to play this motherfucking game. You ready? Yes. I, am. I don't think you ready. What game it is? You about to find out. I'm saying yes. I am. <laughs> all right, y'all see we behind. I'm back behind the ball, so that means it's time to play the game. This right here, we don't need that no more. We <laughs> throw that shit over there. We about to get active. Before we do that, though, you know we got to take a shot. Oh. You know we got to take a shot. We got to take a shot just to begin the game, and then I'm going to break down what the game is to you. All right. I don't, listen, I don't, I'm not really a shot person. I like mm-hmm. mixed drink. Mm-hmm. I don't pour no big stupid. You know how people like Yes. That. Yeah, I don't do that. People feel a whole, whole feel a whole damn cup. No, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Uh, Cause I I don't like taking shots. I don't like straight liquor. That shit dangerous as mm. fuck. Too fucking dangerous. All right, boom. This your shot. This is just the beginning of the game. You know what I'm saying? We rocking out. We having fun. Let's get it. So boom. This game is called roll pull drink, right? Ah, damn. <laughs> so the way this game go is, I'm gonna let you pick a dice. Mm-hmm. Any dice. Which one you want? All right, that's your dice. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the dice. Whatever it land on, that's how many questions you got to pull out of this glass. You got six God questions. God damn, six questions? Six of them. Now, these questions may say, take a shot. These questions may say, just ask a question. It may ask you if you did this, take a shot. Mm-hmm. You never know. Okay. It's on you. So pull six right now? No, nah, you pull one. Pull one at a time. Test the drink guide. Oh, we're going to do that at the end. So we're going to hold on to that one. Okay. What's, we, what's that one? We're we going to do that one at the end. Okay. You know I mean? okay. That one go towards <laughs> my record. <laughs> All right. What's your secret fantasy? What's your secret fantasy? Um... I really don't have a secret fantasy. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't really. I say, my boyfriend feed me grapes. You want your boyfriend to feed you grapes? Eat grapes off my titties. <laughs> hey, you better be listening, boy. <laughs> Said you want to feed some grapes, eat the grapes. I don't know. That's this. I don't know. What's the secret fantasy? That's a secret fantasy. What you just said? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like nobody know. He knew that. No, I know. See, <laughs> see. So that was a secret. He like all that. Uh-huh. Well, look, you know how to get down. You know? <laughs> Pull the we grapes off. <laughs> all right, bet we got number two. Okay. No, that's number three. That's number yeah, three. I'm about to say number three. Number three. Put on. Oh, that's one of them trick. big bitches. This is for real. What the fuck is a paragraph? It's only two of them. It's only two different questions. I know which one. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker say, "What's your body count? Plus five, one shot. Plus ten, two shots. Plus twenty, three shots. No answer. Five shots. What you gonna do? Well, it say, I'ma just. If you under five, then I gotta take a shot. No, it say, yeah." No, well, yeah, take a shot. You under five? Yeah. All right, so shot. that shot on me then. All right. I ain't mad at it. I would, I, you know. But no, I'll take a shot too. I'll take a shot too. I'll real, take a shot with you. You a real nigga, man. Real shit. Real, real shit. Real nigga, now. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> you said what? Let me stop. Uh, I don't want to take a shot. Uh uh-uh, uh, nah, you gotta take uh-uh. that motherfucker. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Let me. <laughs> Look, my boyfriend. Hey, you was leaning back at first. What the fuck you looking over here for? Yeah, to sit up, <laughs> boy. To see what was going on. You know, I'm just shaking over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, 
Look, my brother, all I'm trying to do is make sure you have a good night. You feel me? <laughs> That's it. You trying all to see right. how many shots I was taking for that, uh, for that question? <laughs> <laughs> trying to test the water to see what's going on. Number four. That's another big one. Man, yeah. These are some questions. I like these questions though, because you this is how you create content. This uh-huh. is what makes the shit really <laughs> It's saying what's the last time you watched porn? Burn app comes. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Twitter. I haven't watched porn in so long. For Not real? so long, but when I got with my boyfriend, it, it was no need for it was porn. no need. You get it. Like it was it. like I don't watch porn no more. I was telling niggas that in college, and they were like, <laughs> "It's not, it's like, nothing How you wrong with porn." I'm yeah, like, people that watch porn. That's if you watch porn. Look, I don't got but nothing. If you, if you have your own porn, I don't need to see that shit. <laughs> the fuck I like mean? you know, so I don't watch porn. I get it. That's another shot on me. I used to watch porn. God damn, yeah, she get me lit around this bit. And you know, yeah. Another <laughs> shot on me. Another shot on him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh now you trying to turn me up, huh? <laughs> Fuck. No five. Oh, I had to grab a small one this time. Shit. I only had two big ones in this dumb oh, two. Okay, That's okay. how I know who it is. Which one it is? I don't think this is for me. What'd it say? Booty or titties? Ass or titties? <laughs> like for me? Do mm. I like all right? It really is for a male, right? But I'm gonna ask it like this. You gotta get your ass eight or your titties suck. Titties. Type shit. <laughs> you said no ass. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, t- <laughs> no, you. No, uh, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah, you, know. you got one more. Okay. Number six. Here we gonna test the drink, guys. One thing you are taking to the grave or taking shot. One thing I'm taking to the grave. You want me to just pull the shot now? One thing I'm taking to the grave. Yeah, I mean, just because I don't, I'm trying to think. Fuck, I if you know. take it to the grave, you can't really see it. Yeah, well, pull me a shot. <laughs> fuck. I'm trying to think, you know. Fuck. Yeah, I'm I already know. About. I don't think I, I think out of 60 episodes, I probably had three people. That, that really says, yeah, because it's. Your life gotta be real, uh, you know, extravagant, you know, or something for you to. I don't know. I feel it though. I feel but it. But every, I think everybody do have something that they take it to the grave. Yeah, everybody do. It's just about remembering it. If yes. Because if you're really taking it to the grave, you ain't even thinking about real that shit. Real talk, because you ain't. You nobody will like, be to know. <laughs> it's over. Real talk, this man. Yeah, it's that's you. Okay. All right, so boom. Now we about to test drink guys, right? I'm gonna let you pick another dice. All right. So boom, this is how this game works, right? I'm 46 and 13. Mm-hmm. That's my record. I've mm-hmm. won 46 times and I lost 13 times. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that dice. But before you do that, you want odd or you want even? I want who? You want odd, an odd number, or you want even number? Shit, give me the odd number. All right, so boom, you odd. So you gonna roll the dice. Mm-hmm. If it land on the odd number, I'm gonna take another shot, and I'm gonna answer a question. Mm-hmm. If it land on even, you gotta take a shot and answer another question. Okay. Now I'm 46 and 13. That you that's won. my record. You won 46 times, and I I lost, lost 13. 13 so, okay. Mm-hmm. Now if you roll odd, that's me. I mean, that's you. I mean. You say odd. Right. So it's even. So you lost. Damn. That means I'm 47 and 13. Damn. You got a shot and you got to answer one more question. Okay. Them motherfuckers, uh, you talking about pick a dice. Them motherfuckers, uh, dice probably got all even up. <laughs> nah, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck no. <laughs> it's crazy. Everybody think I be, I be, at first niggas used to be like, man, the dice fucked up. I used to be like, you pick what dice you want. You tell yeah, me. Yeah, that's why you said, like, yeah, I, you might say I did this nope. to you. I don't even want to fuck real. with this all on you. 
All right, boy, we got one more. One more question. Okay. Let's see. What type of fucking question is coming up? <laughs> drink, motherfucker, drink five seconds. God damn it! That mean punish that drink, motherfucker. Drink. Oh, okay, that okay. Mean punish that. Damn. Mm-hmm. I told you I told my dude. I'm just trying to make sure you have a good night. Drink, motherfucker. Drink. Drink, motherfucker. Drink. <laughs> Boy, drink this motherfucker. <laughs> Boy, I'm about to be wa- tumbling down the stairs. Right. Man, you did that easy, man. That's slight. Good thing I only had a little. <laughs> Facts, because I definitely had some people that Ooh, all the way right. Then pulled another drink. <laughs> Fresh drink in that bitch. <laughs> For real. It's good. You made it through the game. You made it through the questions. You survived. You know what I'm saying? You survived drinking with Major Love. I appreciate you for sliding on me. Thank you, thank you. you. I man. appreciate you for having me. You got shit, man. Don't oh, leave shit. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> <son. laughs> Say, look. How you feeling? One through ten. Man, I'm on ten. Yeah, in fact, we lit. We really good. <laughs> Real shit. Say, look, it's episode sixty. I got Keanu J. I'm Major Love, and we yeah. out of here. This was so good. This podcast was so good. I forgot I even paid six thousand. Papa like to just take nah, this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> forgot you about it. I forgot about that shit. But yeah, God did. God gonna do. Y'all keep God first. It's Keanu J. Up in the building. Drinking with Major Love with three E's. Yes, Lord. We out here. Amen. What's up, ladies? You're now tuned in to the Love Doctor himself, Major Love. Shotty, I know you wanna talk, but I ain't no first base nigga. I hit it out the park. I ain't rushing, I just rather keep it real from the start. No reason for me to keep my intentions in the dark. Say I can listen, but just know I can talk too. We can hit the couch, the car, or take a walk too. I be your therapist, I put you in just the right mood. I ain't no pimp, I just happen to have some player mood. The way I rock, the way I dress, I know she like it for sure. I keep it fly like I'm a pilot, but I'm driving the boat. This a private practice, everything done.